Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be going over four mixing effects for music and sound effects that I can't live without. I'll be going over how I use them step by step. For this video, I'll be using Logic Pro X with stock plugins. The first plugin I'd like to talk about is EQ. EQ is a game-based effect, which means it uses volume for its effect. It controls the shape and color of a sound. I like to think of sound being clay and you using EQ to sculpt the sound that you want. Here are a few ways that I like to use EQ. The second effect I'd like to talk about is compression. Like EQ, it is a game-based effect and controls the dynamics or loudness of your sound. I like to use it to make things sound fuller. Let me show you how. A common misconception with compression is that it only makes things louder. True, but just like additive and subtractive EQ, it can be used to make things quieter. I'd like to talk about is distortion. Like compression and EQ, it is also a game-based effect. It is widely known for being used with electric guitars, giving it the distortion gritty sound. Being a guitar player myself, I love to use distortion for that. But for sound effects and other stuff, I really like to use it to add excitement to a sound. The fourth and last effect I'd like to talk about is delay. Unlike the other effects we've been looking at, it is a time-based effect, meaning it uses time to get its sound. It is also commonly referred to as an echo, meaning it gives it that echoey sound, and is a typically experimental effect like most time-based effects. You can use it a number of ways. Let me show you how.
So that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you sticking out to the end. Hope you learned something. If you have any other techniques of using these four effects that I you know, uh, went over, please drop them in the comment below. I'd love to hear them and share them with other people. Till then, cheers.